For the next seven days, I'm going to be sleeping on the floor. Why I hear you ask? For the same reason I do anything. Some people on the internet said it's good for you. The benefits of sleeping on the floor include relieving back pain, better posture, improved circulation, cooler temperatures, and more energy throughout the day. So what are we waiting for? Let's uh, go sleep on the floor. Overly excited for my week ahead, I got to work. Taking apart my old fashioned comfy bed and mattress in place for my new rustic bed, which consisted of a rug from the living room, my duvet and pillows. Right guys, here we are, first night on the floor. I'm excited, but also a little bit nervous. Don't really know how tonight's gonna go, so I guess there's only really one way to find out, and that's to see you guys in the morning. Good morning. So last night did not go as well as expected. It took me so long to fall asleep. It must have been nearly an hour of just laying there. I just couldn't get comfortable. However, after I fell asleep, I felt like I had a pretty good sleep. Granted, the, the bags under my eyes do say differently. The main thing I noticed from last night is how much cooler it is on the floor. Like, I mean, you're only this much further down. And for someone who's really hot like myself, being cooler is, is a nice feature. However, I definitely think I'm gonna have to make some adjustments to the sleeping arrangements tonight. I think going from bed to rug was a, a little overly ambitious. In the video I watched, which we'll talk about later, they suggested using a duvet or mattress topper. As Loretta was away, I decided to use her duvet as a makeshift mattress. And compared to the rug, this actually felt like paradise. And I was excited for tonight's sleep. So I just got back from the gym, I had a great workout, and my body does feel looser. However, I don't know if this is a placebo, because before I started this challenge, I took my bed apart, and I really can't be bothered to put it back together again, so I really kind of want this uh, sleeping on the floor thing to work. So last night went a lot better than the first night. I had a really good night's sleep, and I generally think sleeping on the floor could be the future. I feel so much more resilient. I kind of feel like Bear grills, you know? I can take on the world, I can do anything. Now, I obviously can't keep sleeping on Loretta's duvet, so I've decided to go all in and I've ordered myself a floor bed and check this puppy out. Now to be honest, I'm not a big shopper, so this is one of the first ones I did see. However, it got really good reviews and it should arrive tomorrow, so I'm excited to check this out. Now while we wait for my new bed to arrive, let's talk in a little bit more detail about the benefits of sleeping on the floor and why I decided to do this challenge in the first place. So I was browsing the internet one day and I came across this video by Mike Chang. And if you don't know who Mike Chang is, he used to have a really successful YouTube channel called Six Pack Shortcuts, which I actually used to watch like 10 years ago. So I saw he'd released a video called Why I Stopped Sleeping in Bed, and I know I mentioned some of the benefits about sleeping on the floor at the start of the video, but it's his explanation in this video that really intrigued me. He explains in his video that sleeping on a hard surface is a lot better than sleeping on a mattress because the hard surface is pushing against your body and creating resistance, releasing knots and tension in our body, making us feel looser, having more energy throughout the day, essentially an eight hour massage while we're asleep. But then when I scrolled down and started reading the comments, there was literally hundreds and hundreds of people saying about how they've started sleeping on the floor and it literally transformed their life. And as after reading all these comments, I was like, I have to give this a go and see what all the fuss is about. So nights three and four were very similar to nights two. I continued sleeping on Loretta's duvet as my sleep mat had yet to arrive. My sleep was pretty good, though I must clarify, my sleep was already good before starting this challenge, if we can even call this a challenge. However, all that is about to change because look what just arrived. Hello. So the mat is five centimeters thick and it's filled with capoc. So I'm hoping this is as comfortable as sleep sleeping on Loretta's duvet. And probably the best thing about it is every morning you can roll it up and put it away so your bedroom has so much more room for activities. So many activities! As I finally laid down on my new bed, I felt happy of my purchase. And before I knew it, I was slowly drifting off, dreaming about my new life as a floor sleeper, oblivious that all this would change by the morning. <sighs> So I woke up this morning with pain in my shoulder and I'm pretty confident I did this last night in the gym. After I finished a workout, my friend wanted to do a circuit and my form on the ski erg was uh, questionable to say the least. However, I did think the whole purpose of sleeping on the floor was to give myself an eight hour massage. Like, shouldn't my body have rolled this out last night? So it's safe to say that my enthusiasm for sleeping on the floor is slowly dwindling or definitely not what it was at the start of the week. And I generally think sleeping on the floor could be the future. For the final two nights, my sleep was pretty good. Despite whatever the bags under my eyes may have suggested, I was officially a verified floor sleeper, able to survive in the most extreme of elements. But was this better than sleeping in a bed? Before I shared my final conclusions, there was one more thing I had to do. 
So tonight I'm going to be sleeping on my mattress to see if there's any noticeable differences in my sleep after sleeping on the floor for the last seven days. So for the final time in this video, I'll see you in the morning. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels so good. First of all, I want to start by saying that sleeping on the floor was nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be and it's quite empowering to know that if needs be, I can just sleep on the floor. Also, I found that there wasn't really an adjustment period to sleeping on the floor. Even though the first night it took me a long time to fall asleep, once I fell asleep, I managed to stay asleep the whole night. I wasn't waking up in the night uncomfortable. I felt like my sleep throughout the week was pretty good. Probably the biggest and most unexpected benefit for me was the temperature and airflow was so much better low down. Even though it was like this much difference. I also found getting up and down off the ground an easy and great way to add some extra mobility into your day. However, as the days progressed and the novelty started to wear off, my body started to look a lot more tired. And by body, I mean, the bags under my eyes. When I was at work on the weekends, several people commented on how tired that looked, which is always nice to hear, but they were right. So even though I felt like my sleep was good, maybe it wasn't as restful or restorative for me as when I'm sleeping in a bed. Also, when I tweaked my shoulder earlier this week, I was really hoping, like what Mike said, that the extra pressure from sleeping on the floor would help work out the tension and the eight hour massage would really speed up my recovery, but that wasn't the case. So from my week's experience, I didn't see any notice multiple gains from sleeping on the floor. My sleep was good, but not as good as it was when I was sleeping in a bed. And I can say that all this was confirmed when I slept in my bed finally again last night. 